Assalamu alaikum everyone. So Pepe finally has its uh, little bit of a glorious push to the upside coming to an end. And I couldn't really upload yesterday. Damn, yesterday was a busy day, man. So coming uh, into the four hour time frame, it seems like I was pretty much the first one to give you the sign uh, of a rising wedge. Uh, th that's the last video that I made for you because I told you that when you're moving to the upside like this and you create a very big bearish divergence, uh, this was actually printing in a very big, <clears throat> you know, rising wedge out there. So the rising wedge technical target, of course, is down to 5067. So we still have uh, a pending move down to 5067, but I haven't really seen uh, a retest of the rising wedge. So we could probably just see one push up and then maybe go down. Who knows? Uh, or maybe just fall to the downside. That's actually a little bit hard to tell. Uh, but thing is, if you do end up coming here, what I want to talk about is, uh, let's just say fast forward a little bit in, into the future, and now you're actually down to this technical target. What happens from there, okay? So to decode, we have to get into the daily, and you see the EMA here, uh, the 55 EMA is going to act as a very big support uh, moving forward even right now we could even see 20 acting as a support somehow um, who knows right so if you start to lose the 10 and the 20 here that's when you actually do go to the 5067 and that's where um, maybe the 55 does come to the upside and get another support and this will be another push and you have a very big retracement which is going to be a 53 percent move to the downside uh, as well Another thing is the following. You have the daily 55, of course. And if you look at the weekly now, you, you got the 10 EMA. So uh, the 55 and the 10, you know, if you're not going to get supported with the 55 on the daily, the 10 on the weekly must be a very big uh, support pushing forward. I mean, if you do end up coming down and you retest the 10 EMA, which is 3907 or 4000, somewhere there and this can actually be a, another good entry right for a short-term trade you know and then you get a little bit of a pepe and who knows we, you can actually start to make another uh, big impulsive move again and then you do something like this uh, on the weekly time frame pretty much uh, you know some expectations are maybe uh, a move like this and then you start to pump we could actually see move like this again and uh, touch the EMAs and then you start to go to the upside which also means if you do that then the coin is still in an uptrend you see that you, you do have these two weekly crosses here that's your crossover right there and that's one of the biggest bullish crossover uh, we've seen never ever before did you make this crossover and had a very big move like that this was for the uh, you know for the first time now uh, maybe just come down touch it again and we continue and we continue even higher and that's all for this video and I'm going to see you the next one love